If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. I would like to report that my prayer have been answered today. <laughs> so I have received the answer to my prayer today. Today. Amazing. And I thought that God was going to answer my prayer in a particular way. But he answered it, answered it in a way that I did not expect at all at all so don't limit God when you pray for something don't worry about how your prayer is going to be answered when you pray for something receive it by faith believe that you have received it now even though you don't have it that is faith so stay obedient to God and hold on to your faith in him. Don't doubt because if you doubt, you are not in faith. So if you are not in faith, how is God going to answer your prayer when you are not trusting in him? Because we can't please God without faith. Let me stop here. God bless you. Let's go to Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So what is that saying there? And I believe I have been speaking about reaping what you sow. Let me say this. Someone contacted me and that person was telling me that he or she is trying so hard to do things right toward people. And as it seems or is, other people are treating that person in such in an ungrateful way in a very mean disrespectful way this person is trying to do right as it seems this person is placing placing his or her all I guess you can say into what he or she is trying to do but yet people still attack that person so I believe that that person is feeling drained that person is feeling like really not too many people care about he or she and if you think about that, that can really be really draining and depressing. Perhaps this person is probably thinking or may have contemplated on, hey, maybe I should act like everyone else treat people as poorly as they treat me so when we go back to galatians chapter 6 verse 9 this is saying continue to do good even when people do you wrong Everyone is going to reap what they sow. When you do evil, evil is going to come back to you. When you do good, good is going to come back to you. This law 
is always in effect. So if I am dumb enough <laughs> to do evil toward a person that is doing evil toward me, what is going to happen, that person that is doing evil to me is going to be cursed. And if I am dumb enough to do evil back, I am going to be cursed for that as well. Payment must be made. So no matter how a person treats you, make sure that you are treating that person correctly in a proper manner. Because if you don't, whatever you are putting out is going to come back to you. So you can call me any type of name. You can say that I am a false <laughs> prophet or false teacher, whatever. You can push me out into the street. I am still going to treat you nicely because I know that I am going to reap what I sow. So it doesn't matter how you treat me. It matters to me how I treat you because I don't want more bad things to happen to I or me because of a person or how a person treats me. I am not going to be dumb enough to do evil to a person because that person is choosing to do evil to me. Let me say this. One day I was driving and I don't think I was driving too slow. Yes, I was driving slow because you know, the roads were not right. Or it was snowing outside. So, of course, I am not going to drive too fast. This car zoomed right by, uh, uh, honking their horn for like a while. And it made me so mad that I was going to honk my horn back like this long honk in this very rude way. And right when I was going to, <laughs> right when I was going to honk my horn, something came to my mind and told me no. And even though I did not hunk my horn back, <laughs> I was so like, how dare you? <laughs> and I was really surprised that I got agitated like that. That was really, really surprising. Maybe I was caught off guard. I don't know. But like this guy did it in this really, really rude way. Why are you going to drive so fast when you can easily slide off the street and get into an accident? That is crazy. But you want to drive really fast as if like the ground is really smooth or as if it is not like the roads are not slippery or something. But I was really, really shocked that that person honked their horn. I don't know. It was like the whole incident, how it all happened. Now, it may sound really basic to you as I am explaining it, but that person was really, really rude when that happened. So, continue to do well for people even if they are disrespecting you. Yes, I believe I was tested. Yes, I was tested. That is probably why I took it in that way. I believe this. Let me say this. I can't be wrong about this. I can be wrong about this. I believe when God, listen, 
God has, or how can I say that? God protects us in many ways. I believe this and I can be wrong. I can be wrong about this. I believe when God tests us in certain areas, I believe he can, he can lift, how can I say this? He can do something where I can't explain it. He can lift a layer of protection off of you to where you are exposed more to a certain area. I can't explain it. <laughs> so where I should not have been so agitated because usually like it takes quite a bit to really agitate me. So for that thing there to agitate me, I believe that, how can I say this? God or whatever must have done something to where it would agitate me more. I guess you can say that. I can't explain it, but I understand what I am trying to say, but I can't explain it. <laughs> it's like, I can't explain it. But let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense, I guess. <laughs> God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.